Hey there, Taurus Gemini. Welcome to your reading. So today we're going to talk about Lionsgate. That was a portal that we just went through this month of August, and it was great for manifestation, creativity, anything that helps you get aligned into who you're meant to be. And so we're going to figure out what Lionsgate is activating for you and what it is bringing forward over this next year. Okay. So with that being said, if the reading doesn't resonate, that's totally fine. Maybe check out your individual signs. But if it does, don't forget to smash the like button for me. Do subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, if you're interested in private reading, the link is going to be down below. We do have 24% going off. Going on, not going off. <laughs> um, until the end of August. That is going to be... Um, everything is going to be down below. You can also follow me on Instagram. And... I think that's it. I think that's it. So let's see here what we have for you. Gemini. What do we have for Taurus Gemini? Taurus Gemini. Let's see. We have healing from heartache. Oh. What do we have for okay, Taurus Gemini? Please don't lose hope. Let's see. From death comes rebirth miracle. That is the energy that I was picking up on. Because I was seeing this, healing from heartache, and I was like, no, this is past energy, right? Because it was feeling like old. It was feeling, not old, but it was feeling like this had been going on for some time. It wasn't something that was going to happen. And I feel like this is what's happening right now. This is what Lionsgate is activating for you. From death comes rebirth. Transformation. Where are you headed? Boom. Miracle. Look at that. So this is awesome. Because, and it's interesting, because isn't this video going to be uploaded on the 21st of August? I think it is. And um, that's a pretty interesting um, coincidence. But I really feel like this heartache, with the struggles you've been through, the hard times, it's over. You're really like moving away from that and you're starting to create a new cycle so i really feel like you're breaking a lot of cycles here a lot of patterns a lot of limiting beliefs you're breaking free from all of that and you're starting like a new life you're starting um a new chapter for yourself and that chapter is full of miracles i feel like the universe has been watching you and has been watching you sort of survive and go through the things you've went through and now I feel like the universe is like, all right, let's give Taurus Gemini a break and let's bring a little reward. And I really feel like that is going to be something that you've been manifesting. Not necessarily um, a relationship. I'm picking up for some of you, maybe moving out, if that is something that you've been trying to manifest. Yeah, or just stability overall. I feel like... Stability is a big thing here in whatever way it is for you. Maybe it's stability in career, financial stability. Maybe it's stability in terms of a home and you're definitely moving out. There's something around that because especially with this hangman energy, I really feel like things have been stagnant for you, haven't really been moving for the past couple of months or something. And now I feel like the energy is about to gain, like it's about to spice up, okay? So let's see here, what do we have? Six of Cups, yeah. There's definitely something here around like um, family or like a physical place. There's definitely something here about a physical place that you've been that I don't think it is the best for you, especially with this devil energy attached to it. I feel like this is what you're healing. This is what you're breaking free from. It's all this toxicity, all this... Um, I don't know, these patterns, especially with this Six of Cups, I do feel like there's a lot of childhood stuff going on that you're healing from. I feel like you're gaining a lot of awareness and because of it, things are really like, poof, moving like crazy. And with this Eight of Wands, I hear personal power. So it's almost like if you never really stood up for yourself as a kid, I feel like now you're saying all the things you want to say. If you never really did the things you wanted to do, if you had like really strict parents, I feel like now it's going to be your way and not anyone else's way. You know, you're really going with what feels right to you. You're really going with just whatever direction you want to go, whatever feels good. Yeah, six of wands. 
Look at that, six of one, three of swords, sun. You're overcoming this pain. I really feel like for whoever this is, you've been through it. You've been through it. And you've been, I feel like more than healing, I feel like you've been getting awareness of what you needed to heal. And so what Lionsgate is bringing you, it's the actual healing of, okay, we, we put the bendy on, that's, let's go, let's move. You're ready to go. You know, you're ready to live your life. And you can only completely heal it by doing something different. And that is what the Eight of Wands represents here. It's you speaking from your heart, you speaking with your intuition, with what feels right to you, and overcoming all of this, all of this thing that was not helpful for you. And with the sun, that's clearly miracles. But there's a sense of like renewal. There is a sense of like rebirth, right? There's a sense of a new day. And I, I just feel like there's going to be so much happiness here for you. And lightness. I honestly feel like you haven't been feeling that for some time. And this could even happen like really fast. Like in um, six to eight days. Tops like three weeks. But I don't think it's going to take that, that long. For you to at least start seeing the results, you know, because especially with this like synchronicity of the 21st, um, I really, I really hope I'm not saying the day wrong, but I think that this video is uploaded on the 21st. Um, I feel like especially around that time and on Sunday, so the day after this video is uploaded, we do have the full moon in Aquarius and it is the second full moon in a row. So there's like this portal of release and aligning with your biggest best version that was opening up and a lot of release from toxic mentality from toxic beliefs toxic people releasing all of that this is going to be like the final purge you know it's going to be the end of a portal it's going to close that portal and the end of a chapter for you and i really feel like this full moon it's going to like have this impact on you like crazy and i really feel like by this time you could start to see oh okay so this is how i heal it oh this is uh, what I need to do and you're even starting to speak up. You're starting to be honest. You're starting to be real You're starting to be yourself without fear of people judging you or anything Okay, so let's see here Ooh, goodness Ooh, ooh okay <laughs> We have divine protection We also have Divine connection so for some of you, this could, the miracle could eventually be a relationship coming forward. I don't think that it is some, someone from the past. Uh, actually, the next reading readings that we're going to do, um, they're going to be about love, okay? So we're going to eventually look at that divine connection. But I really have a good feeling because it's like, it's even like a divine connection with yourself. It's a divine connection with the universe, with the person you've always wanted to be, you're becoming that person. And I feel like in turn, you're creating all of that love in your life, all of those rewards, because we also have prosperity. So I feel like it's it's going to be just blessings all over the place, you know, miracles all over the place. And especially, again, especially in an area that you've been trying to manifest, Okay, and maybe struggling a little bit more, but especially something that you have been trying to manifest and bringing forward in your life. You're getting that prosperity, you're getting that love, you're getting that house, you're getting anything that you, you want. Okay, it's about you changing that mindset to believing in it. And that is what you're doing right now. Time to shine creates an energetic resonance for golden opportunities. That's beautiful. See what else we have here. <laughs> Trick of five. Manifesting money and income. Fire. The element of fire heralds new life and positive transformation. There's that there's that thing of like the new day of just rebirth. This is huge. This is huge. Uh, I really feel like your whole life is gonna change like boom. And Especially like like with this thing of like golden opportunities and miracles, divine connection. You could be receiving some sort of opportunity through another person. 
especially when it comes to career, maybe like a promotion, a job offer, um, also a partnership of some sort. And I just feel like people are going to see you. People are going to see you and your potential and what you can bring here. And I feel like that is going to be the best thing that maybe you haven't been feeling like that for the longest time and now you do. Man, this is, this is like, wow. Like all the Lionsgate readings have been pretty positive and they were all about like being your true self and a lot of transformation, a lot of like new life and everything. And that's so inspiring because I feel like that just shines a light on you birds and on who you truly are and who you're becoming. So I'm proud of you. And also we as a society and humanity and everything because we're raising the consciousness of humanity. So that's pretty good. Let's see here some final messages and, <laughs> and advice for you to connect with this a little bit faster, a little bit better. Uh, also, some other things that the universe wants you to know about this landscape. And boom, success. <laughs> believe in yourself and there to dream big. Really believe and really like there's no limit. There's no limit, not even the sky. You can dream as big as you want and you're going to have it. It's like manifest your ass off. Or what you've been manifesting during that Lionsgate portal, it is happening. Okay? Let's see. What else do we have? Wow, yeah. Okay. So we have a lot of good stuff here. So we have Kundalini Rising, channel your creative passion and sensuality, welcome the transformation. So you already had that death from death comes rebirth. Now you have the Kundalini Rising, very Scorpio energy going on here. So maybe Scorpio season could be very important for you, significant for you. Maybe that's a person sign. Okay, we do also have this, oops, this Leo energy here with the sun. Those are just some references, but definitely... A lot of Scorpio energy here of transformation and growth, deep growth, soul growth. We also have intuition, think less, um, listen to your soul's truth, think less for more. I always say think less first. Uh, but it's all about follow your feelings, okay? I feel like you're learning that they are there for a reason. For the longest time, you could have like rejected them and all the things you felt were pain. And now I feel like you're being asked and you're trying and starting to get into that place of looking beyond and seeing the purpose of the pain, the purpose of that situation, what was the lesson, and you're starting to look into the future and looking into your truest feelings, into your truest self and what that truest self feels, okay? We also have the horse here with free spirit. Give yourself the space and freedom to express your creativity. Chameleon, soul tribe, it is safe to be seen. And listen up. You are working through deep soul patterns, release any outdated belief that surface. So there's that thing of you clearing a lot of blocks, you clearing a lot of cycles, of you being seen. What did I tell you? And also this person, whoever it is that is coming in into your life, it's part of your soul tribe. Accept them, let them in, okay? I don't think that they are here to harm you. If this it doesn't matter if it is like love or career or it, whatever it is, they are part of your soul tribe and they are here to help you out. Okay, they are here to be in your life and just allow yourself to have fun, do things that light you up, do things that really motivate you. Okay, and bring joy. You're about you're about to get a very crazy life <laughs> in the best way possible. So. To me, Gemini, this is what I have for you. I hope it resonated. I hope it helped. If it did, don't forget to smash the like button for me. Do subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, don't forget the private readings. The link is going to be down below. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.